These dogs are the epitome of beast mode. They don't mess around. Dogs of war, they've actually uh, fought in wars. These dogs were born to protect. This is Balberian Fury. We produced him like 13 months ago. He's going to be one of our up and coming studs. 175 pounds already. Still got some drilling to do. He's probably going to be over a 200 pound borble. I love his markings, his, his coloring. He's a real gentle dog, good temperament. When I saw my first one, I just, I didn't know what it was. And it was just like a dog on steroids. The dog was, you know, working out 24 seven, like a bodybuilder. Easy. This is Kuda and his temperament's really well. He's got good temperament. When I first got him, he just jumped up on my bed and stood over top of me, looking at me, you know, face to face. He has a really scary stare. He's kind of got red eyes and should have been called the Grim Reaper. Borbles have always been known as kind of dogs of war. They've actually uh, fought in wars. They're like gladiators. Um, so we like to refer to them as dogs of war. Borbles are naturally protective, but they're also very smart. So they're a very confident dog. The current heaviest dog we've ever had is Gotti. He's probably a little bit over 200 pounds. But Fury's only, what, 13 months, and he's already probably 175, 180. And Boudica, she's 175 pounds. She's a giant girl. I've been breeding boar wolves for about seven years now. We got our first boar wolf because Paula wanted a dog that she could walk and feel safe. We started looking for a borable. Um, this was about nine years ago, and we could hardly find one. But we were lucky enough to find one, um, and that was our first borable was Kimura. So these are three-week-old puppies. They're actually be three weeks old on Monday. Typically, our puppies sell for uh, pet registration 2500 or full registration with breeding rights is 3200 We have probably about six litters a year, three in the winter and three in the spring, summer. They are adorable. As you can see, they got these little wrinkles on their nose and their faces, and they're just like little, little chunks, and they already start to show their, their muscle structure. Um, they're just, they're thick. Remember. Borbles are excellent home uh, guard dogs and protectors because they're very, very alert and they're very intimidating. So I feel very safe. Come on, come on. Yeah. It's, it's not for everybody. Some people don't like that type of um, clinginess, but I love it. Come on. There you go. This is her spot. In Borbles are very clingy, so there is no such thing as personal space. Um, if I go to the bathroom, they're following me to the bathroom. If I don't close the door, they shove their way through and they sit there. <laughs> um, they always want to be like right up on your lap or right in your face. A dog is man's best friend and uh, mm -hmm. a borble sticks to his owner like Velcro. And if you don't like that, then a borble is probably not the dog for you. People often ask us what we feed our dogs. You know, they want to know because they think that we're, we're feeding it something that's causing its muscles to be big. Um, I just feed them a dry kibble that I buy at Costco. You ready to eat? They eat uh, twice a day, um, three cups in the morning and three cups in the evening. It's about $1,500 a month, which is about $18,000 a year. Good girl. Most people get the borbole for protection. So I have a lot of people that call me and um, they're truck drivers, their wives at home alone, or we sell a lot of dogs to uh, police officers that are leaving the dog with their wife while they're working. 
You know, I love taking videos of the dogs, especially when they just look like a lion kind of running across the field. Well, Danny's the pack leader for sure. He's the alpha of the barbarians. Um, I'm more the, the play toy and the, and the lover of the dogs. He's the boss. Have to be that way with this breed. <laughs> if not, you will have problems. 